Hi, I'm uh, Don Cotton with uh, CDA Training, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to slide your tandem. The reason you need to slide your tandems is for weight distribution as well as the bridge laws that are in the state state. Your tandems are locked in place by pins right here on your sliding rail, usually at the front and the back. And you have a sliding release arm right here that has a notch that locks in like that, and that releases it. You see it's retracted the pin, it's inside. On occasion, the pin won't come in. Sometimes it's a little bound up in there, but go ahead and lock your arm down. Get back up in the truck, move the trailer forward and backwards a little bit with the brakes locked, and it will release the pins, and then you can slide it forward or backwards depending on what you need. All right, to slide your tandems, you need to leave your trailer brakes engaged, so only push in the tractor valve to release the tractor brakes. And then you'll move the truck forward or backwards depending on which way you need to go with the tandem. We're going to release our locking arm. Now, our pins didn't come into a hole. I can see part of my pin right there. So I need to get back up in the truck and I'm going to move the truck a little bit more forward to get that pin to lock into that hole. After you've done that maneuver, you always want to come back and visually inspect on the driver's side as well as the passenger side to make sure that all of your pins are engaged. If they didn't, you might need to jockey the truck a little bit more. Always do this maneuver though with the trailer brakes locked. 